Let's head into Major Thrift. I haven't been here in a couple of weeks, so hopefully we will be able to find a few good things. I always start out in this first aisle with the home decor. That quail was $4.99. They do sell well painted for me, but I like to find them in pairs. I did, however, pick up this vintage quail and it has got quite a bit of attention on my sneak peeks. This plate is very pretty. I flip it over. It is made in Japan, which means it's older. No chips or cracks. Definitely coming with me for $3.99. I loved this bookend, but I couldn't find another one and $8 was a bit much. Green on these baskets, gorgeous, but they had a bit of damage and now I'm starting to think more about summer decor moving past spring. That was my basket obsession. This major thrift always has a full top shelf of baskets. I loved these little nesting ones, but I couldn't quite justify the $6 on them because they are smaller as you see. So I set them next to this beautiful basket with a lid which I later regretted not picking up since it's pretty unique. And bingo, I found some boards. I picked up this wooden one. It was only $3.99 because it has a crack in it. Y'all know I don't mind. I'm gonna put a beautiful repair in that and it will definitely sell. This nice little piece of slate, uh, granite, only $3.99. I grabbed that as well. It's got some beautiful coloring on it. Great for a cheese board. I found this kind of burnt orangey red heart at $5, past it since we are past Valentine's Day, but I went ahead and snagged the bunt pan for the same price, $4.99, since we are moving towards 4th of July. Finding some beautiful green decor. I love this teapot. I ended up leaving it behind. Drop me a comment down below. Let me know if I should have picked it up for $4.99 or leave me a comment about anything that I passed on that you would have picked up. I found these beautiful uh, mid-century modern decanters. They had a little bit of water damage and they would have been really hard to ship. So I left them for somebody who would love them more than me. These glass pieces were massive and fun. They weren't super expensive for how big they were, but no way I would try to ship them. And what do we think about this color of glass? Is that like a pink depression glass or something? A beautiful red cloche, that was different as well. The seashell, I've really been drawn to looking at the glass and I try not to pick up too much, but I have been picking up some. Vintage strawberries on this caught my eye, a little vintage decoupage job. At $5 though, those little wheelbarrows do not sell great for me. And I cannot believe this sign was $6. That is crazy. Out of control pricing, although the saying was pretty funny. Always a lot of metal and floral selections here as well. Let's see what I can find. A cute little brass candle reflector. You hold these and the brass metal piece shining away from you will illuminate the light of the candle where you're walking. These always are a great seller. In my cart it goes, and I think it was $2.99. Great price as well. Now, is this a double trump? Beautiful painted, but unfortunately they were a little too expensive, especially for how heavy they would be to ship. 
bit candlestick. I don't know. I wasn't feeling it too much. I left it behind, but I did snag this beautiful copper bowl for just $2.99. Score on these eight dollars for three not too bad i will sell these as a set though adorable small copper nesting pans they have organized their utensils out a bit more here at major thrift which i am loving i can see everything much better snag up a few wooden utensils yes please Got the bed frame section here. I have sold one like that before, chopped up into pieces. Nothing today that is worth the spindles for the price. We just got done at the gym, hence the red face, but the thrift store, Major Thrift, just opened. I'm gonna go ahead and swing by. It's 20% off today. I saw a couple things yesterday I didn't get because they were kind of pricey, so I'm gonna see if they're still there and see if they restocked anything. Here we go on Saturday and now it's Sunday they just opened I just left the gym on Sunday now I don't usually come by here multiple times in a weekend but it's right around the corner from my house there were some things on my mind I was like let me just go see if they're still there at 20% off today I got stuck in the basket section. That one was a buck fifty plus twenty percent off. You can't beat that. And this one caught my attention. I really loved it. It was called Taskets, the brand, and I almost took it except for it had a stain on the fabric right there. Darn it. But look, look what's still here. The nesting baskets and this adorable basket with the lid. So twenty percent off in my basket they go. <laughs> yes, please. Now, I wouldn't say they did a huge restock, but I found a few things I didn't see the day before. This little canister caught my attention with the beautiful colors. This black teak threshold vase was $15, so I passed. And uh, I ended up finding some very interesting things. I grabbed this metal saying, but I ended up putting that back at checkout, and I just changed my mind. Now, y'all, I never look at coffee mugs ever. But I'm going to start because I think these little green stoneware coffee mugs are my favorite find of the day. They're just this perfect green color. Unfortunately, that third one was chipped, so I just got the set of two. This little box was cute, not for $5, but then I opened it up and realized it was nesting boxes, so I definitely grabbed it. I love the beautiful dark floral. 70 cents, eh, actually 80 cents after the discount for that little plant. In my cart it goes. This is new old stock, still in the box for $4. I figured it'd be worth giving it a shot. It looks like it might match some of the stuff in my house. <laughs> Another quick peek back through the kitchen section and this time I found a wood spoon and some little silver measuring spoons. I love shopping for kitchen items and it does do great on my site as well. Now heading back to check the furniture section again today. Y'all look at this couch. I could not even and it was only th I think $49.99, 50 bucks. It was in great condition. Boy, I wish I would have had room for it. Now I went ahead and snagged the little magazine rack and y'all know what I'm gonna do with that. It's just screwed together, so those spindles will be great and easy to salvage. Found a metal funnel, sold one of these a couple weeks ago, so I picked it up and then turned around and saw some more beautiful vintage furniture. Drop me a comment down below if this furniture brings back some memories. Now this one wasn't in as good of shape and it was more expensive. I liked the other one better. <laughs> Finally found a chenille blanket in the wild. Beautiful condition. I took it home for $8. So here's a look at everything I got this weekend from Major Thrift. Some of it was 20% off, some of it wasn't. 
very eclectic mix of things. Got a little granny chic in there. My usual wood, copper, baskets. This nesting box is also a little different for me. Love it though. I did find another one of these metal funnels. Um, I sold one of those last week, so I went ahead and snagged that up. I think these little stoneware mugs are my favorite find. And then what do y'all think about this blanket? I was thinking it was handmade at first, but then I ended up finding a Sears tag on it. So it's definitely vintage. It's got some really fun cottagey prints to it. I'll hold it up on the live and make sure to show it way better. I really love this vintage fish plate as well. So great things here. Drop me a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite item is from this thrift haul. And these items will be featured this Saturday, April 22nd, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time over on my main channel, Upcycled by Brie. I will drop a link to that channel down in the description box below if you haven't subscribed there yet. Till next time, I'll see y'all later. Bye, friends.